before I start this video, as you can see, I do not own this gameplay, nor do I make any money off it or anything like that. I am just using this just to be able to show off gameplay and be able to show off certain things that are going to be either in this video or in the coming videos in the next coming days as well. So please do not hurt me, please. What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is actually Black Ops Cold War. And now we got the multiplayer reveal for Black Ops Cold War recently and there has been lots of new things and things we saw in the multiplayer. So we'll basically break all of these down or most of these will be in numerous videos. So in this video we're just going to go about kind of the hood, uh, some of the kind of common things that many people have actually seen in this ma game. And just before I start with the whole hood and that, I just want to say my one of my previous videos I actually had up, um, it's still up actually, I went through the hood and everything like that and I'll actually put an image of it here now. In the middle of the screen we have the compass which is returning from Modern Warfare which I personally don't think anyone really hates it coming back and anybody really doesn't care that it's coming back. This would be mainly just used more in Warzone than anything else. Now the bottom left hand corner of the hood or your screen you actually have your health. Now each player has 150 health so just like in Black Ops 4 looking at the enemy it actually shows a health bar on top of their player which personally I think is a nice feature to have and I think it's a very very good one for team oriented games because if there's one person left and you've shot him three or four times and he's one shot you can just say to your teammate yo he's one shot push him that kind of stuff now moving over looking at the bottom right hand side of the screen or the hood we have score streaks how much ammo you got both your lethal and tactical equipment and your field upgrade next thing we'll talk about a bit is sliding now sliding in black ops cold war is looking like it's different compared to the modern warfare you tend to slide for a longer distance than ever seen before and trying to slide cancel it seems like it takes away from your momentum of course the, this could easily just be a bug and there could be slide cancelling and many pros have actually been able to slide cancel in the alpha and other youtubers have said that this is a thing that isn't in the game and seemingly that after the alpha was created they noticed that they had slide cancelling in it and they have actually changed this so sliding is actually you have different penalties for sliding which is a good thing because the slide cancelling was just it was extremely 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 annoying looking at another mechanic this is the swimming mechanic now the swimming mechanic is back just like we saw in black ops 3 and i don't think we saw it in black ops 4 as i can remember and it seems really good like i liked this i like this kind of feature and it was added to black ops 3 and i actually used it a lot to be honest and in one map in black ops cold war it seems that you will have to utilize this feature personally a lot i think and just to get to different flags and everything like that but of course there's boats and everything that we'll talk about as well another thing we'll talk about is fall damage now in modern warfare fall damage is extremely different compared to the black ops cold war one which i saw and if you take for example in modern warfare if you jump out of two-story building you're more or less going to die. However, if you jump out of a third or fourth story building in the Black Ops Cold War, you take fall damage, but you're not dead. So this is this is interesting because both uh, developers have their different take or their different opinions on fall damage. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's interesting to see, but it'll be interesting to see how this fall damage actually really does uh, play out throughout the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War life cycle. 
A few more things that I actually saw were kind of vehicles as well. So one map we actually have boats. On another one we have snowmobiles and we had some tanks as well. We also seems like we have jet skis as well. Now the tanks seem to be very very overpowered from what I could see. The blast radius on it on the when you shoot it seems very very large and I understand why but they could potentially tone this down and make tanks less OP of course these could easily be nerfed or changed in the beta this is of course just an alpha and the boats actually have a minigun which seems to do a lot of damage like it seems really really good against a player would just shred them to pieces against other boats it does take a while to destroy another boat which i like and you also have a health bar on the boats and i think tanks i'm not sure about tanks but definitely on boats uh score streaks as well have it as well which is good now another positive for i'd say about 90 percent of the cod community is mountain so mountain is not coming back so we can actually rejoice in this because this actually just helped players that were bad at the game just control control the recoil and it's just it's like why why was this ever a thing like mountain is just so so bad and it doesn't even look good like you the different angles that mountain looks like is just shockingly bad now one thing i will say that we did not hear anything about is skill based matchmaking now we probably didn't hear anything about this because this is just an alpha and they could still be potentially putting this into the game i'm not really sure however i feel with treyarch that i really hope they do not put this into the game because what they're trying to do is they're trying to cater for the new people which they have perfectly done i think personally in my personal opinion with the streaks and everything like that and the way the game is in black ops cold war for the new people that have just came in in modern warfare and i also think that they have been trying to cater for the old school cod community as well which they have done perfectly in strides compared to infinity ward who basically just told them to more or less f off and i personally think that skill based matchmaking I i'm trying to stay positive and i hope it's not in the game because if it is it's going to be another year of a COD ruined because of a feature or a mechanic that is in the game. And it's sad if this is in the game. But these are just some of the things that I just want to talk about straight off the bat that I just saw. And I will have numerous uh, videos coming out on maps, guns, maybe even attachments and everything like that. And perks and everything like that. But yeah. For now guys, this is the end of the video guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button right beside the like button. is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to the channel. Beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload to my YouTube channel. Or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel. Which is rare. Speaking of live streams, I tend to live stream on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up up to date whenever i go live over there i also have a twitter account that i manually update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my twitch channel and you can mainly find me on my twitter and my notifications are more or less on the whole time so anybody tweets at me or anything like that i will see it link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button don't have to hit the notification bell because i know how annoying the notification bell is on some accounts on twitter and that's why i have the notification bell turned off so i don't use that but yeah this is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace